Hi there, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving! That's right, it's another episode that's really only topical to the nation in which I live. My fans in Canada watching this are going, I'm a good month and a half late for a Thanksgiving video. But here in the States, we celebrate Thanksgiving on the fairly arbitrary day of the last Thursday in November, because that's when the crops will be in for food for our feast. For those of you who don't know, Thanksgiving in the United States is a celebration of the creation of American football and of lavish parades, which happen to coincide. And so we get together as a family and fight like we were on the gridiron, and we eat a lavish meal that took days to prepare but is gone in 10 minutes like we were on Times Square. Actually, of course, Thanksgiving dinner does not go away in 10 minutes. Or ever, really. The next three weeks consist of leftover turkey, mashed potatoes, and stuffing until you are so sick of them that you never want to see those foods again until next Thanksgiving. And I'm not really a big sports person, so I always focus more on the parade side of the holiday. And hailing from Michigan, for me the Thanksgiving parade is not Macy's, it's America's Thanksgiving Day Parade. That's right, the Detroit's parade is America's parade. And yet, out here, they always play Macy's. Or I guess it's now Target's or something. Like I said, I follow America's parade, so I don't really pay attention to whatever they're doing in New York. The parade is awesome. And the parade company, the people in charge of the parade, and basically every other celebration in Detroit, like the fireworks, is awesome. Every year they have a contest for local elementary school students to design a balloon and a float, and one winner each year gets to run the parade. And some of those have become lasting favorites and have been brought back year after year. There's the Briefcase Drill Team, the Distinguished Clown Corps, the Troy Athens Marching Band, and it all ends, like actual Thanksgiving, with Santa showing up and telling us that there's only 29 shopping days left until Christmas. Because while well, Thanksgiving was founded as a celebration of football and parades, nowadays it has become the opening gambit to Christmas shopping with Black Friday. That's right, in the 20s, Black Tuesday is a day in which the stock markets crashed, leading the US into the greatest depression in the world yet. But now Black Friday is something that happens every year, where people get up at 2 a.m., during a holiday, mind you, to get 20% off a toaster at Sears. I, like the rest of this country, have no money this year, so my friends and family are getting as a gift these witty videos that they have to sit through the ads to watch for Christmas this year. Hi, everybody! Hope you like your Christmas gift! But apparently Black Friday deals are going off without a hitch. Who the hell is affording to do all this Christmas shopping this year? Well, I guess the counter to that is that's why they have to go and get these low, low prices and are willing to beat up the other mothers to get that last Tickle Me Elmo. Man, that reference is dated. It's clear that I have no children because the more topical reference I can think of is Furby. But yes, jingle all the way, based on a true story. It happens every year to roughly one million parents nationwide. And you know what? I'm young enough to remember my childhood well. And I can tell you this, I do not remember a single one of those special gifts. I remember the joys of the holidays and being together, but not the specific toy. I want an official Red Rider Carbon Action 2 and your Wayne's Ball Air Rifle. It's like that old joke where you buy a baby an expensive toy and they'd rather play with a box. Kids have one hell of an imagination. It doesn't have to be the hottest toy of the year, or even anything outside the budget. All that really matters is that it comes from you. You know that crappy macaroni picture you have hanging in your cubicle? It works both ways. Just as long as it's not socks. And that, dear viewers, is really the point of this random rambling I'm spouting. What the holidays are really about is not pilgrims and pumpkin pie, 
or the dolphins and doorbusters, or Santa and song and dance numbers. It's about coming together. While that does lead to a lot of strife, it also leads to a lot of caring and sharing. So I hope you'll join me in my favorite Thanksgiving song with your family and friends, and hell, even strangers, because you can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Walk right in, it's around the back. Just a half a mile from the railroad track. And you can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Take it away, everybody! You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Just a half a mile from the railroad track and you can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. You Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Anything you, want you want at Alice's, at Alice's Restaurant. Restaurant. You, you can, can get, get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Why Walk right in it's around the back. The back. Just, Just a half, half a mile from, from the railroad track, track and you can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Restaurant.